confusion. Well, um, in fact, you had mentioned Mr. Ruffalo in your speech in Michigan. I was wondering what, if you could elaborate more on what do you think films like Spotlight, which I can't get out of my head, can do for citizens in Flint, Michigan, and just people in general, to inspire them, you know, Mr. Ruffalo and Mr. Keaton as well. Or was it Mr. Keaton or Mr. Ruffalo? I forget which one mentioned Flint. Yes. So here's the situation. I don't, I don't think Flint, Michigan, I'm not sure about this, actually. But I'm pretty sure Flint, Michigan doesn't have, and their local paper doesn't have, uh, an investigative team in the local paper, and I and I, I stand corrected if somebody can prove me wrong, but that's what's going on in journalism right now. That uh, newspapers across the world are losing uh, money, and, and they don't have the money to have uh, an investigative team or, or journalists, or and, and they're cutting out a few other things. Had there been one, I would argue, and I think it's a strong argument, that they may have been ahead of the South Michigan situation. Uh, but there's, I mean, we, we, we could talk on and on and on, you know, it's all, always happens in poor neighborhoods, which are generally, you know, black or, or Hispanic or, or uh, 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 people of color. And, and uh, as long as there's no one to represent, not just, not just those, but the disenfranchised everybody, or, or, or people who are fighting against unfair things, I don't want to just point the finger to giant big corporations, that must not necessarily mean anybody. And so um, I mention it because there are zoos in Michigan out there, you know, and they're not zooming, but there are a lot of them. And um, if they, had there been some, some uh, a, a spotlight uh, put on that, I, 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 I would argue that maybe uh, they would have been a, a, a little bit ahead of the situation. Uh, hello. Yeah. I'm here with that. Uh, maybe maybe Mark wants to answer. I'm from Latin America, and of course in the movie you mentioned all the countries in Latin America that has been affected by this problem. And uh, but there's still a lot of prisoners that are working doing the same thing. There's a lot of prisoners now are being like, promoted. Uh, uh, I mean, it seems that things are not changing really the way they should be. So what should happen, in your opinion, in order to, to make a difference in this? Situation. Well, some stuff has, has been done, but there's a lot more that can happen. Um, the transparency is what uh, SNAP and a lot of the, the survivors groups are asking for. Um, many of the archdioceses that have had uh, molestations happening in them still haven't released the names of the priests who are known to be child uh, molesters and, and, uh, and rapists. And, and until that happens, uh, like what Boston did recently, Seattle just released 77 names of priests, uh, starting from 1926, of documented child um, uh, molesters. Um, that's one of the major things that they're asking for. Uh, it'd be nice to see Cardinal Law actually uh, in, 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 a, in a prison cell instead of a palace in the Vatican. Uh, I, I think ultimately what these people want is their stories to be able to be told in the broad light of day, the bright, beautiful light of day. And um, how you do that is, is creating, I think, transparency. And the church is not known for being transparent. So that's a good place to start. Thank you.